Welcome, I'm Daily Fix, and this is Dissonant World Universe. We're currently playing as the Slokken. I've uh, got a bit of fleet movement uh, going on because, well, we are increasing um, the sizes of our fleets. Now, that is one thing that I want to be doing, and I, I'm not sure in, in, in what, how I'm going to achieve this. I would like to look into. Well, maybe other types of ships that we shall be using. Currently, we have the carrier and the cruiser, but I can't remember doing anything to it. Uh, I know that I built them last time, but I don't think I did anything to these. And this is what I was worried about. We are missing uh, the hyperdrive in here as well, and that is definitely... A big ass mistake. Also, we have 272 and we're only using 127. Uh, this this one is not nearly up to its capability. Um, 10 thrusters. Uh, let's do the, 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 the usual 15. Uh, we got some shields, we got some armor, which is quite nice. We got some ultra fuel cells, but we want to be increasing those to, I believe it was 8. Yeah, probably 8. That's more than enough. Uh, standoff, yeah, sure, why not? Stronger opponent, standoff, the rest is just going to be all weapons and shoot them down. What else are we lacking on these ships? Let's take a quick look. Enhance our conclusion. Energy. Oh, we have the energy collectors now? Oh, that's nice. Uh, I want to make sure that we are outputting more than the static. And this will definitely increase the hyperdrive. Speaking of those, if we click on the hyperdrive, you see that the speed is 15,000. And we are maxing it out, which is absolutely fantastic. Very happy that that's happening. What else are we going to do? Let's get one of those off. Let's see. Do we have a countermeasure system? No. Do we have... No, we don't. Let's see what else would be interesting. I kind of want to get a... My cruiser is going to be a large range vessel. That is what I wanted it to be. That means that we are going to get rid of um, the Maximus Blasters. And we're going to be increasing whatever that um, gives speed or actually ranged weapons let's do this by category because otherwise i just don't know where it is so oh man that range is horrible uh, the real gun is most likely oh wow yeah so you're going to be my long distance fighter and we're going to do that as good as possible oh wow the, the maximum ship size is definitely a problem let us get one off. We get five more, which we could definitely be using more armor. So I do it like this. This is going to be. Hmm, who is this going to be? Let's take a quick look. Who else is active on my Discord? Ah, oh, there we go. The double G. Yeah, I think this is going to be it. Uh, the DGW Gamer. Uh, he's one of the guys that plays a lot. A lot of Space Engineers, which is absolutely fantastic, I say. This means that some of these ships need to change. Uh, we have a long range. We have our carrier, which is full of, uh, of ships. Now, the, the Julius. Uh, let's do cancel. It's all those... All those that... And manually upgrade the design to the Mark 8. We got all of these good things on it. Now this is definitely by definition a very very low range fighter and to prove that I would like to get rid of the missiles. These guys. Getting a few more face cannons in there. Like 9. Let's see if we can actually do 10. Like 10 and Point defense cannons as well. Uh, we can also get the energy collector on there. So we have more room for... Uh, to actually more use for our fuel. 
do we oh wow excess power is a lot to be um it, it's so it, it's not enough 242 let's do another one four of you yeah that's what i'm talking about four of them that's going to be fantastic let's take a look what else would i want i would have real guns on them as well this ship is going to be full full of small range uh, weapons and its firepower is phenomenal it is absolutely fantastic let us make sure that we have enough habitability and life also habitability is um, giving you boarding defense so maybe we want to increase that a lot more um well maybe not not much shields though Hmm. Only two and 144 in terms of armor, which is also quite sad. Let us do a tiny bit more shields. Where are you again? Here you go. And do one more armor, and that brings it up to 500. So survivability is going to be so much more, and the Julius is now a very very short range and fertile fighter now the ultimate toby uh auto upgrade place there you go oh doing it again manually upgrading let's see definitely well we have some we can increase it by a hundred what do we want with it to do with you we can make you... Well, actually, we have enough point defense. What are we lacking? Maybe some Maximus Blasters. Maybe just a, a short range uh, all weapon types. Who knows? Maybe that is something that we could do. Let's increase you. That means that we are lacking the real guns. Do by five. And then we'll add the point defense as well. Habitability in life we need to be adding. That's a medical center. That's definitely not what we need. Life support, 155. Let's increase the amount of shield. Let's get ourselves a energy collector on there as well. The hyper is still good enough. Although we need another reactor. Yeah, well, we haven't... Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll do the other reactor. If I can find it. For crying out loud. Let's increase that. So we have 15 more. We have some excess power, which is fine. Let's increase the amount of shields. And a bunch of armor on there as well. The five, that's 500 as well. Uh, the escort. Now, the escort, I would really like it to be um, fast, really fast. And it is, it is already fast. Can we increase the speed? Is it possible? Actually, is it worth it to be adding a, uh, another hyperdrive on this? And we'll, we'll see soon enough. Where are you? No, it makes no no sense whatsoever. The cruising speed is not important, and the reason for it is because we are using these hyper drives. Um, I would like to add more reactors, and this 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 little ship is so important for us because it is defending everything that we have. So, by the looks of it, a lot of conclusion missiles. I don't think the point defense is going to be very viable. And I would like to start adding some real guns in there. Let's do maybe 10. Habitability and life. And there we go. That's another few. Maybe, maybe just armor. Hmm, let's see. 199. We have enough. We need energy collector. Which should be around there. Now that we have the energy collector. I actually would like to change all of my stations yet again. The reason for it is. We can absolutely make sure that they almost need no fuel. Which is absolutely fantastic. Look at this. 
So a 3.84 fuel units per 1,000 energy. I have no clue what it is, but I think it's wonderful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So we want to add more armor. Let's do six. Shield recharge, lower rate, reactive armor, countermeasures, plus 10. And yeah. How many do we have those? Well, actually, no. We need to increase all of them. Uh, the carrier. Can we increase the carrier now? I don't think so. Oh, yes, we can. Ooh, but how much? Oh, yeah. Well, let's try that out with shields because that's the, the easiest way, of course. Let's start with energy collectors. And we need two of those. We have 104 excess output, which is more than enough, even though it's not using any weapons. And this one is also for enemy fighters. It might actually be well worth it. How far can we add this? Damn! Like 750? Holy... That's a lot. That is a lot. Like 25, let's add a bunch more shields then. Uh, that's 1800, that is a... No, it is quite nice. But do let's do two less. Now, we already seen that we need habitability and we need life. And it's definitely something that we need to be adding. And we'll be adding... I kind of feel that instead of doing all of these... We should be adding more fighter base. Like seven of them. And add a bunch of armor. There you go, 750. Can't go over that because that is my maximum. It is beefy. It is so, so strong. Exploration ship and colony ship. Yeah, let's, let's do it like this for now. Or manually upgrade them. We could definitely use energy collectors on it look at the hyper you see that that is not good that is not good what kind of reactor are you using so you are lacking a fusion reactor there you go there you go it had too few in terms of power reactor power output is 144 and we are using 133 and you immediately you see that in your speed now, we could beef this thing up completely with shields and armor, but yeah, is it really needed? They, they're quite good as, at, at, you know, as soon as an enemy is in sight, to get the hell out of there. So, let's do 15. It's more than enough. More than enough. Uh, construction ship. Uh, same problem over here, as you can see that. Even adding this. It, it is, mm, it should be enough, but what we desperately need more is a fusion reactors. So we need more cargo. There you go. Let's add uh, 14, 13, there you go. 13 of those, colony ship, manually upgrading. All, all of my ships are seriously lacking um, a power that is uh, something i did not look at at all we got some blasters here but this is a colony ship i still do not know why we have weapons it's not like i will send these guys towards anything that is not protected also this is a bit too much bring it down to eight making this a lot cheaper and i don't want to change anything to it just making sure that the speed and power is going to be enough. State bases. Oh, there we go. Ah, the auto select on all of them. Small spaceport. I'm sorry for this, guys, but I think this is desperately needed. Static output. So. That would, should be enough. And that is actually all that I... I'm willing to add to them right now. This is the small space for it again. Let's go to this one. So, let's do about five and one more. Save. Large space board. It's just so it is not using fuel. Maybe this will change. Maybe it is 
some other thing that will definitely that will change. No, that's not changing anything. Um, I don't see any difference in in in, in stats. In all honesty. But we have enough to keep the station going without the need of so many reactors. Excess energy output. That is a lot of access. Energy storage. Now we don't need as much. But we need one more. Oh, there you go. One more. Just to keep this all going. But we don't need more than that. Um, the resort base. Yeah, that's that's not too incredibly strong. We might eventually want to be increasing the amount of armor and shields. But it is quite high already. There you go. How about you? Let's add one more. You as well. Why do I keep stopping at four? Or three, actually. Defensive base. Oh, only 30. Wow. I assumed it was going to be a lot more. And we got a colony death station. Uh, one is going to be enough. Why not? Can we do the same thing with private ships? And uh, we're not going to change too much of them, but we're just going to give them a energy collector. Maybe not. Maybe we'll have to manually upgrade the design then. There you go. Oh god, I keep doing that. Here we go. Wait, can we just auto upgrade them as well? No, nothing changes. So manually upgrade energy. And I'm hoping that they can actually go a longer range. If this is not how it works, uh, by all means, let me know in the comment section. Because uh, I am somewhat of a good ball. And I, I'm just noticing that we have too few reactors on here. Yeah, that definitely increases the speed. Why do I not check these things? Okay, so yeah, that means that we have to do that with everyone. This one's also... Lacking habitability in life again. So if you're playing this game, you you might want to keep a close eye on your speed. Um, there's nothing worse than a ship that isn't reaching potential, and they are losing about 5k, which is, in, in, in my opinion, a lot. And all that you need to do is add a reactor, and maybe some habitability, maybe some life, but that is all. Wait. Yeah, definitely. There you go. We've got two more ships to go. You are maxed out. You are doing well. Mining ship. Oh, wow. Uh, let's cancel you. Manually upgrade. We need energy collection on there. We need two of you. And we need a reactor on there. Habitability and... Once again, live. There we go. That's going to be a lot of upgrading during this episode. I'm sorry that you, if you don't like me tempering with the designs, it. I think it's it's needed. I think it's needed. Otherwise, I would never do this. And let's give you energy collection as well. Let's save. Wow, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. We are going to upgrade everything. Do we have colony ships? Retrofit. Construction yards. So, we've got normal colony ship, large spaceport. Let's retrofit you into the latest design, the large spaceport. Design construction ships. Retrofit into construction ships. Mark. Oh, we don't have the money, huh? Ooh. Wow, that's sad. That really is sad. We can't afford to even do this. Let's do this again. Retrofit and latest design. We can't change the planets. That's a bit of a shame. I wish that we could. Uh, defensive bases. 
yet again, here we go. How expensive is it going to be? Not too badly locally for us. Exploration. Retrofit all of you in there, 19k. And we're going to be hoarding up some of um, our money because it is... Yeah, it's horrible. These guys, they will auto-upgrade so we don't have to worry about you. Troop transports retrofit. Latest designs. Thank you very much. Frigates. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. What the hell? <laughs> oh, that's expensive. Damn. Uh, I did not see this one coming. No, 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 I didn't. Um, crying out loud. 72 for my frigates. Yeah, I can see some of them are not how they should be. Desperately. So we know military ships. Let, let's give the game some time to uh, get ready. And uh, I think it won't be long until we actually go to war. We have enough range uh, with our fleets and with other stuff. What's this? Uh, money gifts. Thank you. Me like. There you go. Cruel Dragon Raiders. I don't know who you are. The galaxy is dangerous place. Go away. Nobody needs you. Nobody loves you. Go. Let's hold up on some money. Uh, I think this will definitely work. Or actually help out exp the, uh, the trade bonus of 7%. It's not too bad. It's not too shabby. The open trade network would be very, very nice as well. With all of them, all of them is now refueling. All of them is going to be... Oh boy, yeah, this is something that I should have done a long ass time ago. Let's see, so we're definitely not number one. And we are over here, the coalition, we got 271,000. And we got a lot of catching up to do. What's yours is mine. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we have the most population. So in terms of money, pirates offer maps. Sure, why not? Go away. Hmm. That was one other thing that I wanted to do. Oh yeah, we need to check if Texas is still okay. 17%. Uh, yeah, sure, that will be fine. Why, why not? 9. 17. 9%. 23, let's add you by 2, 17, 19, 26, okay, let's go by 10, make sure this all goes up, yeah, all the money that we can require is going to be fantastic, colony happiness is now plus 48, loving it, and I, I so want to take these guys out. I don't know why, but I got a feeling that we need to take these guys out. We're going to be having this central galaxy to our own, which is... Hey. Why would you give me money? Why would you do that? We're at war with one empire, but these guys were at war with. Although, I don't think they will attack us. 11,000 and we are at 15. Especially now that the fleets are increasing. Oh man. So, I hope I did some right changes. If I didn't, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to, uh, to change these. What I want to be doing is, uh, next episode, we're going to be flipping all of these captains into carrier classes. And um, I think that's the best decision. He's commanding the second fleet at the Barcelona. Why? I'm, I'm sure we got some amazing ships for you. The Barcelona M2. Oh, well, whatever. The second fleet, anyways. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.